Tuloy natin yung discussion natin about friction. This time, we will talk about yung wedges. So, this is a type of problem involving wedges. Meron tayong dalawang block na merong inclination yung contact surface nila. So, pag tinulak ko yung P, ang mangyayari, yung B is mumove pa right at yung A dahil may wedge dito or may inclination dito, yung A ko mumove pataas. Yan yung kanilang magiging uh, movement. Ang technique to solve Uh, wedge friction problems no nandito naka note is to draw the FBD or the free body diagram of each block kailangan marunong kayong mag-draw ng free body diagram and remember that friction is always opposite the direction of motion so bago tayo magsagot ng wedge problems introduce ko muna yung tinatawag na angle of friction okay So, ito yung normal na free body diagram ng isang object na merong frictional forces. So, may normal force, friction force, at saka yung P. At may kita mo dito, yung friction force at saka yung normal force, we can actually add them up into one. So, meron akong resultant force dito with an inclination of theta. So, ito siya. Ito yung equivalent uh, force system niya. Pinagsama ko na yung friction sa yung normal force. At from this force triangle, may kita mo that the tangent of theta is equal sa opposite, which is the friction force, over dun sa adjacent na normal force. And remember, di ba, yung friction force natin is mu Fn ang form. Pag dinivide mo ng Fn both sides, you will get friction force over normal force is equal to mu. So, ito... Pwede mong palitan ng mu. That's why the tangent of the angle is equal to mu or kung gusto mong kunin yung angle, kunin mo yung arc tangent ng mu para makuha mo yung angle. Now, this concept of the angle of friction is useful sa statics problems kasi binabawasan niyo yung number of forces. So, dito sa figure na to, ilan yung forces involved doon sa object? Di ba? Apat. Yung P, yung W, F sub F, saka yung normal force F sub N. Pag ginamit mo yung angle of friction na concept, magiging tatlo na lang yung forces. Kasi pinagsama mo na yung friction saka normal force into one. So, makakatulong to sa atin pag magsusolve tayo. Okay. So, balik tayo dun sa wedges. I have here yung example na nilagyan ko na ng values. Yung block A may weight na 20 newtons. Yung block B may weight na 30 newtons. And block A is being pushed down by a force of 100 newtons. Yung frictional coefficient in all contact surfaces, yung sa baba, yung sa pader, at sa katong point of contact between the two blocks, the frictional coefficient is 0.3. Wala dapat newtons to. Yan, 0.3. Walang unit yun. Now, block B is pu being pushed to the right by a force P And the, the problem is, or the task is to find the minimum magnitude of P to start pushing block B. So, ang mangyayari, syempre si B magmumove pa right. At pag nangyari yon si A aangat siya, magmumove siya pa taas. So, first, drawing natin yung free body diagram ni block B. So, ito yung free body diagram ni B. May kita mo, dahil magmumove si block B pa kanan, yung frictional forces acting on block B will be pa left. So, we have here frictional force at contact point 3, frictional force at contact point 2. So, nilabelan ko na rin yung mga contact points. And then, yung F sub N ko, since 80 degrees daw to, ibig sabihin, yung inclination dito must be 10, di ba? Para maging 90 degrees. So, dapat 10 degrees din yung vertical angle ng normal force at contact point 2. Pangalawa, idodrawing ko naman yung free body diagram ni block A. Ito yung free body diagram ni block A. So, again, pataas ang magiging motion ni block A. So, kaya yung friction sa pader naging pababa. It's against the motion. Ito yung normal force. Nakadrawing pa rin and everything. Now, how about yung forces doon sa contact point 2. So, sa free body diagram ni block B is ganito, same din yung mangyayari kay block A, pero reverse lang ang direction. So, yung normal force ko magiging pataas instead of pababa. Yung frictional force ko 
ganun pa rin, pero naka-reverse na ng direction. Okay. So, ito yung mga pre-body diagrams ng dalawang block. And again, para mas maging madali yung problem natin, so, tingnan mo tong block B, oh, ilan yung forces involved? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Anim, ang dami. Yung block A, ilan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Anim din. So, ang gagawin natin, pagsasamahin ko na yung frictional forces at saka yung normal forces. So, ito. Okay? So, ginawa ko, pinagsama-sama ko sila into their uh, corresponding resultants. And, syempre, yung theta natin, diba, that is the arc tangent ng mu. So, theta is the arc tangent ng 0.3 and it comes out as theta must be equal to 16.7 degrees. Okay, simulan natin. Kunin natin yung pre-body diagram ni block A. Bakit si block A kaagad? Kasi, pag banalikan mo yung mga pre-body diagram, ilan ang unknown forces kay block A? Dalawa lang, R2 at saka R1. Kay block B kasi, tatlo. R3, R2, at saka yung P, unknown din. So, mas simpleng isolve muna natin si block A since dalawa lang yung unknown. So, punta tayo kay block A. So, solve for R1 and R2, ang gagawin lang natin, of course, magsasummation lang tayo ng forces horizontal equal 0 at saka forces vertical equal 0. So, simulan natin kay uh, horizontal forces. So, you have negative R1 cosine of theta plus R2 sine of theta plus 10 degrees must be equal to so, yan yung una natin equation of course substitute mo na yung theta natin na 16 so pag sinubstitute mo ito yung magiging equation natin so this is our first equation pag nag summation naman tayo ng forces y equal 0 we will get the following and again arranging and substituting yung theta yung equation natin magiging ganito at ito yung magiging second equation natin Solving for R1 and R2, no, two equations so unknowns yan, we will get the following values. R1 is 74.21 newtons. Yung R2 naman is 158.19 tons. Okay, once sa solve na natin yan, punta na tayo kay uh, block B. So this is 158.19 newtons yung R2. So ito na yung pre-body diagram ni block B. Gagawin din ulit natin yung summation of forces X and Y natin. So, summation of forces X equal 0. So, bakit equal 0 kung, kung mag-move nga siya? So, because this must be actually greater than 0 para mag-move siya, di ba? Pero para mag-solve ng ganyan, equate muna natin siya sa 0. So, anyway, uh, doing this problem, we get the following. And again, substituting yung mga alam nating values, the equation becomes... Uh, P minus R3 sine of 16.7 degrees equals 158.19 sine of 26.7 degrees. So, this will this will be our first equation. Now, gawin naman natin yung summation ng forces Y equals 0. R3 cosine theta minus uh, R2 cosine theta plus 10 minus 30 equal 0. At ito, pag sinubstitute mo na yung R2 at saka yung theta, diba magiging ganito? 16.7 to minus 158.19 cosine of 26.7 minus 30 equal 0. You can actually solve for R3. No? Using this equation, solving for R3 yields, R3 is 178.87 tons. And lastly, substitute mo lang yung R3 na yan doon sa una nating equation. And you can solve for P. P is equal to 122.48 tons. So, ganun. No? Pag magsosolve tayo ng wedge problems, always remember is to draw the FBD of each block and remember friction is opposite the direction of motion at magandang gamitin yung angle of friction para from this pre-body diagrams 
ma-express natin siya ng ganito, mas simple at mas madali nating masosol. Like me video ko ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.